Hi, my name is Blessing Lungaho. I am a film, TV, and commercial actor, and I am this week's guest on Snappy Seventh. You know, normally I tell people the truth, it seems like I lie, so I know I just tell people, ah, I just changed. But the truth is, I met a guy called Nkuta on the street. One day I was going to work, and he just walked up to me and was like, dude, uh, I'm casting for co a commercial, and uh, I think you look like a billboard model. So I looked at the guy, then I laughed, then I told him, Tafta Masai. But I was like, ah, okay, if you don't believe me, Nisao, here's my card. So I get to the office and uh, I show a friend, I'm telling a friend about this story, you know, hey, He's like, you know him? He casts for Snap, call him. So long story short, I finally decide to call this guy. He calls me up for an audition and I get picked. My first audition, first commercial, I get picked. I get told about the price, what I'm getting paid to do it. And that changes my life, there and then, period. So the money brought you, you know, not the action or anything? Funny enough, yeah. <laughs> it was coming in, the money, I thought, hey, Mazi, I'm going to make a lot of money, you know, and all the beautiful girls who ignore me will fi finally notice. Then you get in and passion bites you. It stops being about the reward. It just becomes about obsessive self-improvement, passionate, hard, hard work and consistency. Now it's... It's more work than reward. Of all the people who would tell me otherwise, my dad used to support me. He's like, hey, as in, do you, are you passionate about this? Do you love what you do? Do it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So I kept auditioning, kept failing. I became that guy who did three ads last year, <laughs> you know. Then... I had a coming to Jesus moment. I don't know any other way to say it, yeah? There was this week where there were auditions with, with the brief. I was sure, with briefs I was sure I could get. It was three ads and two TV shows, you know, because I had, I had started learning how to act in my drought period. I bought a few books on Maisner acting. I got an acting coach, someone who's in the industry, who taught me what actu acting actually is, because I used to think it's just pretending. I didn't know it actually more detailed and it has skills and tools towards it. So I call up my dad, I'm like, hey, dad, Nyaje, this is my week. I feel like I'm getting a breakthrough. He's like, yeah, Nyaje, I'm driving. Uh, let's, I'll talk to you, but I, it was a Thursday, you know? So Friday, nothing, no call from the guys, no call from dad. Saturday, nothing. Sunday, an aunt of mine calls me, she's like, hey, Dude, are you sitting down? Uh, I'm like, no. She's like, go, go where people are, yeah? And uh, just sit with them. I need to call you and tell, to tell you something, you know? At that point, you know, hey, something's, something's happening. So she calls me after an hour. She's like, yeah, hey, I'm sorry. Your father passed on. This is like the only person who used to like support me, you know? He was like, hey, you can be something. So my phone starts ringing. So I pick it up, I'm like, hey, this is young guy, I'll call you back. It's like, hey, sorry, no, 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 I need your measurements. Uh, this is the ad you auditioned for, you know? So that was last Saturday? The same, this is an, like an hour after my aunt called. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I'm not in a m m mood to talk right now. It's like, okay, I'll call you in a bit. Then the phone, I put down the phone, the phone rings again. I'm like, hey, what's up? Uh, no, I'm calling about the ad. It's like, no, I just talked to the other one. I just talk to your guy right now. I'm, I'm not in a position to talk. Give me some time. Let me call you back. He's like, no, this is the other one. Literally, in that day, I got all the five jobs. That's when my industry began. As in the worst possible day for me is, I think maybe he got up there and he's like, God, day. Hey, take care of my guy. Uh, for the last four years, I've been extremely blessed. I've had opportunities to, to do international jobs and meet like really big time Hollywood actors, you know, as in you're on a set with someone you see on IMAX, in IMAX and you're like, hey, so will I deliver Amanda Ombo uh, autograph Kwanza, you know? So that experience has shown me like that anything is possible. You see these guys, you hear their stories and you're like, what? Okay, if he can do this and he's just flesh and bone, 
What's so different about me? I've done two international ads. Two ads. Ads and then one international movie last year in Rome. That was my first like big, big time movie. I, I can't talk about it yet. The, about no, no, it's it's. I I just finished shooting it. <laughs> yeah, uh, but when the embargo just is lifted, mm -hmm. ah, where? The biggest story to us. Directors, no, because you know they need to control how much is out there so that you actually go watch. Because if you knew the entire story and who's in it and what happens, why would you watch? Spend your money to watch the movie. Which ads? Oh, oh, oh. I went to Tanzania to do a uh, dairy milk card. That was like really dope, really dope. As in, kuna venye siri huwa na araka na productions here yeah, at every second. Eh? Wait, 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 chap, 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 chap. Uko, unarakisha nani? Yeah, we fanya, kumi fanya. That was the best, as in. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. But they're really professional though. They just take a little bit of their time. Then I did an ad in Uganda. Then I did an ad in Kuala Lumpur. Okay, my most embarrassing moment is when I went to do my, my film. Uh, I've never been to Europe. Yeah, mini boy ordinary. Uh, so, as in, I'm working with this guy, uh, an actor from there. And we had s such good rapport on set. He was like, hey, let's do lunch. I'm like, yeah, there's free food over there. No, 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 there's this restaurant. I know, that's really dope. Come and take you. So me and my fika, it's, it was really posh. But I do a first time in Europe. Hakuna mama yangu, nobody knows me. Wapi, injury time. Menu for who? Leta hiyo, leta hiyo mboge ule. Leta hizo mbili. Ta, 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 ta. Kuyuko juwa mzungu wa kisema, let's do lunch. Ana manisha, I pay for mine, you pay for yours. We're just going together. <laughs> nobody told me. So Billy me kama me nsikumia. So I'm like, uh, you said we do lunch, you know, where I'm from, that means you are buying lunch. Like, no, as in, we were coming here together. Yeah. And then the most embarrassing bit wasn't as in that, was Nikawambia Sinadu, the Kurdishia set. So I'm like, I'm how? The next day, me and my fans, and I can ask you, hey, what are you Some guy from Senegal, who's standing next to me, is like, what are you doing? You person Bob. <laughs> yes, that was the most for me. Uko at least mwani peanga space. As in kwa kwa set when I'm shooting, eh? As in mkiona ni mechoko tanambia a blessed take five. Uko the director will drill you until you get what he wants. You know, if it takes the whole day, if it takes a week, if it takes two days, two days, sorry, he will wait until umepata, ukoshua, ino minataka. We will shoot until you get it. When we get it, fine, we move to the next. They don't have a T.O., oh, we'll shoot this today. No, no, no. We will shoot until you get it. Until yeah. they get what they want. Yeah, yeah. So I spent like an entire day opening a door. That's exactly what I'm telling you, yeah. Okay, wait, we'll shoot it from here. Okay, we'll shoot it from there. Okay, the drone will, will go over you. Okay, there'll be a jib. Okay, there'll be a camera move. There'll be a pan. Just walk to the door and open. Walk to the door and open. There. Like my guys are like, hey, my guys are like, hey, can you bless my backing character? And we jam you quickly. Because it's perfectionism. Upper, okay, we don't have the resources. But it's made me realize there's no talent like Kenyan talent. Kenyans are extremely, extremely talented. I just wish we would be appreciated just a bit. Oh, how, 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 how much time do you have? I have a list. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, there's a Kenyan actor yeah, called Alan Oyugi. Yeah? He's the guy I... How can I say... I cast on my acting towards, you know, the, time, the guy I want to act as. He is the most natural actor I've ever seen. If Alan was, had, was standing here acting, you wouldn't know. You think he's just having a conversation with people. He's so natural in how he does it that 
he is, if I could act like him, not act like him, if I could act with him, yeah, I'd feel like, he's very hard to get on Kambai, but he is by far my best actor ever. <laughs>